Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a few days ago, I was messing around with guns again, and I found one gun that might be one of the most overpowered guns in the game. So let me introduce you to it. The Uzi. I'm joking, it's not actually the Uzi. It's the Micro Uzi, but like, not the Micro Uzi. So as you can probably see by what's on it, you know where I'm going with this, but let me just explain it real quick. So if you go into ammo, you can see this little thing called Strike 3. So pretty much what it is, is it turns your Micro Uzi into a shotgun. So it brings the damage from 34 to 17 times 3 which is actually one and a half times more damage if you hit all the shots from like 20 studs. But it's also got like 20 shots and also has the same fire rate. But I have the oil filter on it, which actually drops the rate of fire by about 180. And I did this just so that it doesn't shred through ammo as fast, because most of the time you're going to hit them with three shots and they're dead, but you're actually going to use like five to ten shots just because it shoots so fast. Then I have the full stock, which actually gets rid of a ton of the recoil. And then of course the AMT Terminator, just because that's overpowered. And now you can barely even see the recoil. So let me just quickly show you how this thing works. So here you can see the micro Uzi, and basically it shoots like crazy fast. Like it shoots so many bullets. So let me quickly go find somebody to test it on. Like that guy was probably low, but here that guy wasn't low and it still killed him so fast. Like here, and it's got enough ammo to kill like a few people at a time. Like I've gotten like a four streak on one mag. So yesterday when I found out about this gun, I was playing on Laboratory, which is basically like one of the most close range maps in the game, and I got something like a 4 KDR with 50 kills. It just doesn't have that great range, but still out of range you can kill somebody pretty fast. Like that was what, 66 studs, took like 10 shots. And that's why I also have the normal Uzi on the side, just for if there's somebody at sort of long range. But yeah, hopefully you can see where I'm going with this thing. This gun's one of my favorite guns to use right now. It's just so overpowered, so fun. Like, it's it's crazy. The minimum damage on this thing is 10 damage per pellet. So if you hit one pellet every shot, you're still going to be able to kill them. I mean, as it says in the strike through description, if you're looking for a bullet hose, this is the antlotype for you. Here, I'll try this on Bazaar just to show you what I mean. Sadly, I don't have the purple chrome, but that's fine. And then having an Uzi just in case there's somebody who's a little far away. And three assist kind of kills, I guess. One thing is that this gun just like drains its ammo so fast since you only start with 80. But you can actually pick up ammo from any single shotgun. So you pretty much never need to worry about running out of ammo. Because you can find it pretty much anywhere on the ground. Like, <laughs> there's no chance. But definitely if you're going for the most, like, useful setup, I'd probably pair this with something like a Scar H. Just because if there's somebody who's super long range, you actually, you probably won't hit a single shot on them. And you just sort of need the long range. Pre-fire? A nice quad? Like, 20 shots is more than enough to clear a team. 33 on 11, 3 KDR. I think I pulled out the Uzi like for two kills. The micro Uzi just carried me. This thing went from being a meme setup to one of my favorite guns right now. It's just so overpowered. One downside is that I had to spend like 4,000 credits for this thing. So only buy this thing if you're like filthy rich or you only play on Laboratory and Bazaar. But still, even on other maps, this thing's great. So once again, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching and hopefully you guys like this video. See ya.